Imagine that you're trying to send a tiny little payment, like a few cents to a few dollars, to buy a song online, or to tip a content creator, or to maybe share some pizza with a friend, but the fees are almost as much as the payment themselves. And we see this happening all the time. People wanting to swap digital assets like NFTs, other cryptocurrencies, with somebody on a different blockchain. It usually takes forever, costs a fortune, and its user experience is terrible. That's the current state of blockchains today. Slow, expensive, clunky for everyday use. But this is where Fiber Network really comes in and shines. You see, it's a toolkit built on Nervos Network to make transactions faster, cheaper, my favorite key point, easier, especially for small payments or cross-chain swaps. So if you're curious to know about how this is all going to work, we're going to dive deep into Fiber Network and see how it can make Nervos Network shine. So you might be asking yourself, what exactly is Nervos Network? Well, it's a blockchain like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, your favorite chain, but it's designed in a way to be secure and super flexible. Its main part is called Common Knowledge Base, or CKB. And this uses a system called Proof of Work to keep things safe and decentralized. Nervos is built to work with other blockchains, and it works especially well with Bitcoin. This supports all sorts of other apps, from digital collectibles, NFTs, to financial toolkits. You see, blockchains can get bogged down over time when lots of people use them. When you see state bloat, meaning that all these little tiny transactions that get stored on the network, they take up space um, and computation of the blockchain as the chain struggles to keep up with maintaining. So this is going to eliminate a lot of that and reduce state bloat, something that is plaguing Ethereum quite badly. You see, Fiber is going to keep the transactions fast cheap and this is a layer two solution that takes the heavy lifting off the main blockchain of nervos network so think of the fiber network as a shortcut instead of every transaction clogging up the nervos blockchain fiber handles them off chain using something called payment channels which i am super super bullish on for the privacy reasons now picture you and a friend keeping a shared notebook where you jot down every time you owe each other money and you operate that notebook as a ledger. You only update the official record on the blockchain when you're done. So by all means, you can transact as much as you want and that transacting is private. This also makes things super fast and cheap. So for example, you could send a payment as small as a tenth of a cent with fees so tiny that you'll barely even notice them. So Fiber uh, Network was launched in February of 2025. And like I said, it's designed to make these quick, low-cost transactions possible for everyone. And one cool thing about Fiber is that it works with a lot of different assets. You can send Nervos Network's own token called CKB, other stable coins that hold steady value, or even assets tied to Bitcoin, like those using RGB++ protocol. This protocol is absolutely bullish because it lets Bitcoin handle more complex stuff and Fiber makes those assets easy to use for payments or swaps. But even better, Fiber connects with Bitcoin's own Lightning Network, another key bullish thing that I am super pumped about. So this allows you to uh, send money or assets between the two systems smoothly. Bridging and all that stuff is very intricate and it's very difficult to do at a super high level. The fact that these two systems can communicate is awesome. So you could use a stable coin on Fiber to buy something on Bitcoin's network without waiting ages or paying high gas fees, which oftentimes get ridiculous. Security is a big deal and Fiber's got it covered because it uses hash time lock contracts and point time lock contracts to make sure that the transactions are absolutely safe. Now, one thing I love about this is that if something goes wrong, like a payment doesn't go through, your gas fees and your money like comes back to you. So this is one problem I have with Ethereum where sometimes you'll get a failed transaction, but the blockchain will consume the gas fees. And if the gas fees are high, it's a nightmare because you can lose hundreds of dollars, if not thousands, literally. 
So this is a very interesting uh, aspect to it. Since fiber settles transactions on Nervos, it's backed up by the same strong security that protects Nervos itself. You know, plus your transactions stay private and really only the people sending and receiving money see the details. That's what's so great about that. Um, the privacy aspect of blockchain in today's post, you know, um, crazy 2025 uh, world is that it is... Uh, very open to anybody, meaning it's very public. Anybody can see anybody's transactions and things like that. So I think that this privacy aspect will lure a lot of people in. So why would we even care about this in the first place? Well, this is great for small payments. This is great for buying in-game items for a fraction of a cent. It's also useful for swapping assets across blockchains which in the end could really help with things like decentralized apps for trading or finances, DEXs, decentralized exchanges. For example, you could instantly trade a token on Nervos for one on Bitcoin, which is handy for anyone into crypto, to be honest with you, because it's hard to do that uh, natively. Uh, businesses might use fiber to build apps that need fast, cheap uh, transactions like online stores, gaming platforms, you name it. You know, there is some interesting things to be said about Fiber Network and its capabilities. And I think that um, it's going to be interesting to see how it's used. Most people will probably use wallets like Joy ID, which is adding Fiber support to make things a little easier. And also Fiber is new and it needs more people to start using it for it to really shine. Um, some of the Nervos team and developers like Quake, who built Fiber, are working on making it simpler and more useful as far as running nodes and things like that. But it'll take time to, for that stuff to catch on. So in the end, Fiber Network matters because it makes blockchains more practical. It helps solve the problem of slow, expensive transactions with a terrible user experience. It's letting people use crypto for everyday stuff like buying coffee or trading NFTs. It's built to work with Nervos and Bitcoin, which creates a bridge between two major blockchain systems. And as more apps and wallets adopt fiber, it could become a big part of how we use um, assets between Nervos Network and Bitcoin, or how we use digital money in general. So thanks for joining me in this quick dive about fiber. And we're going to be going into a little bit more of how fiber works on uh, the node side of things when the time comes. So I love you all. I'll see you guys on the next video.